Let's talk about how to make sure your actions speak louder than your words in order to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornell from here and our idiom today is actions speak louder than your words or actions speak louder than words. Uh, I say your because words come out of our mouths, right? They don't, we don't speak for other people or sometimes we represent other people, but we don't speak for other people. This is of course a very old proverb. It's a proverb. It's become a cliche. And what do we say about cliches? Cliches stick because they're so true. We know that they're inherently true. This is a, an idiom that's been around, at least in, in writing since 1628, but much longer than that, of course. 1736, it actually appeared in a work called Melancholy State of Province. And our one of our most favorite presidents, Abraham Lincoln, actually used it in 1836 when he was talking about uh, the Civil War, of course, the North and the South, and, and that... Um, we would have to see how things and how people actually behaved and if their actions matched the words that they were speaking at the end of the Civil War. So I'm curious, do your actions speak louder than your words? If you were to ask three people uh, about, say, hey, do my actions speak louder than my words? It'd be interesting. I think I might do this today. Ask three people if my actions speak louder than my words. Am I doing more to demonstrate my core beliefs and my values and my principles and my way of being in the world, then I talk about it. Or do I talk about it more? Now, I do a lot of videos, so I might talk about it a lot more than I actually do. But I don't think that's true, but we'll see. I, I'm going to ask three people and see what they have to say about it. But when our actions speak louder than our words, it means that we are demonstrating who we really are. When our words speak more than our actions, our words are just saying how we want things to be, but our actions show who we really are. I hope I explained that well enough. We all can think of examples of people in our lives or people that we've encountered that talk, 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 but never actually do anything. I had a couple of relatives like that where they know everything about anything and they can talk to you about anything, but they don't actually accomplish or do the things that they're talking about. They always know what everybody else should do, but it's not anything that they're doing themselves. Anybody know anybody like that? I do. Uh, anytime a person's actions don't match their words, there's there's a disconnect. And most of us human beings have a, an ability to notice that. I call it a BS detector. We know if somebody is just talking and that they don't really follow their actions up with behavior. They don't really follow it up with action. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi is a great example of actions speaking louder than words. He's, he's one person that I think many of us, if not all of us could agree, is a prime example. Um, Mother Teresa, again, actions speaking far louder than words, right? So when is it necessary? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share 11 places where it's imperative that we have our actions speak louder than our words. I'm going to share the two steps, the two things that we need to do to guarantee that our actions are speaking louder than our words as we're growing and building and supersizing our businesses. Why? Because all of these situations and all of these things are necessary and the two steps are positively essential. Uh, so when, are, when is it necessary to make sure that our actions speak louder than our words? And I think you can probably relate to many of these. Many of these I can relate to. Number one, when trust is, is needed or trust needs to be built or required. Ever gotten a new vendor or a new employee or a new person and you needed to build trust quickly in that relationship? When trust is required, our actions need to speak louder than our words. When committing to our goals, when committing to goals of your organization or personal goals, actions speak louder than words. We can talk. I, I've got goals that I've had for 30 years that I have yet to have achieved. I definitely have talked about these specific goals more than I've acted to move toward them. Painful confession, but true. So when we're committing to our goals, our actions, we need to do and take a step toward them, I say every single day, in order to achieve them. When parenting, how many of us know or maybe have tried to tell our kids what to do, but not done the same thing ourselves? We're seeing this in media right now at, across the world where political leaders are, are making mandates and rules for COVID-19, yet they're getting caught on tape and busted, not following the same rules and the guidelines that they themselves have created and, and instituted in their area and their jurisdiction. Hypocrisy just like parenting in politics, do what I say, not as I do, it's never going to work. 
and those leaders I guarantee will pay they've already lost trust they've always already lost respect from people that probably already respected them so in parenting we can never tell our kids not to smoke if we're smoking we can't tell our kids not to get a tattoo if we've got a tattoo we can't, can't tell our kids not to drink if we are drinking every single night at home I mean it just doesn't work out that way another situation is when leadership is required when leadership's required in our organizations and if we own a business we are automatically leaders our actions need to speak louder than our words I always had a philosophy that I wouldn't ask anyone in any of my businesses to do something that I wasn't willing to do myself and sometimes I did it you know growing up in, in different businesses I have done almost every job every task every dirty horrible thing that has to be done in lots of different businesses and industries and that's why I don't have a problem asking someone else to do it because as a leader I've actually had my actions speak louder than my words in that I've already done those things uh, when responding to a crisis right when responding to any type of crisis I've had a lot of practice with that this year we have to make sure that our actions are speaking louder than our words we have to chip in and do what it is that needs to, to be done not just you know talk about what needs to be done uh, when sending a message to other people when communicating and sending a message to people we send the message usually verbally or over the phone or over the internet or whatever we also need to have actions that back up that message that show that we're committed to that message as well as the people that we're sending the message to um, after doing something bad have you ever made a mistake have you ever done something bad have you ever said something that hurt somebody's feelings how you respond after making that mistake or doing something bad our actions absolutely positively have to speak louder than our words uh, when it's time to forgive ourselves our actions need to speak louder than our words we can we can say oh I forgive myself for that and still beat ourselves up for it if we're still beating ourselves up for it our actions are not speaking louder than our words our actions are showing us how we really feel about the situation and we haven't really let ourselves off the hook enough for that I did that with my divorce for years I I beat myself up about my divorce forgave my husband way sooner than myself and so forgiving ourselves is another situation where our actions need to actually speak louder than our words forgiving other people again our actions need to speak louder than our words we can say oh I forgive you but then if we still hold it against the person did we really forgive them or if we still treat them really poorly no probably not our actions are not our, well our actions are speaking louder than our words but they're speaking louder in our than our words in, an, in a way that shows how we really feel right that we haven't let go of that when sympathy for someone is required our actions need to speak louder than our words I got a, a taste of this at my dad's funeral I always was uncomfortable going to funerals because I never knew what to say and I realized that my dad's funeral everybody feels that way no one knows what to say when somebody has a huge loss or a huge um, needs sympathy for something or, or, or suffers a trauma or suffers something bad in their life uh, it's our actions need to speak louder than our words because people need to know and feel that we really are on their side and that we're really behind them I like to uh, give some kind of gifts or tokens and, and things that will make people feel better when they look at it and see it than just saying oh I'm sorry for your loss really yeah so am I <laughs> there's all kinds of witty things you want to say when people say certain things and it, it's just hard and the final time when we want to make sure that our our actions speak louder than our words is when we're motivating other people if we want to get do we have to do that in our businesses absolutely when we want people to do something or to join us in a cause or a project or a uh, an activity when we want to motivate them to do something our actions need to speak louder than our words in terms of we need to help them with that we need to be a resource for them or we need to chip in and do it right along with them so what are the two things that we have got to have to make sure and guarantee that our actions will always speak louder than our words number one we need to be absolutely positively honest with ourselves honest about what it is that we want what it is that we say and then the second thing is we need to be committed to the big things so we need to be a hundred percent honest with ourselves and committed to the big things our core values our principles the things that are most important and when we are our actions will match our words and will behave in ways that are consistent with that when we do that when people know what to expect from us because we communicate that when they know what to expect from us they know what we stand for uh, 
and we consistently act toward what we stand for, then we're, we're using those as guiding principles. We're using them to show people what to expect from us. And when people know what to expect from us and we know what to expect from ourselves, faith in ourselves increases, our confidence increases, our performance increases, but other people's faith in us and our, and our organization increases as well. And people want to be attached to our businesses and our organizations. So actions speak louder than words. Love to know your experience with this particular idiom. Share in the comments below. I bet, I bet you got some stories about this one. I know that I sure do. And never tell people, do what I say and not what I do. Make sure that you can honestly say to people, do what I do. Let me lead you. There's a difference between leadership and management. Leadership says, come on, let's go. Management says, go do it. And that's that's not, that doesn't feel very good for a lot of people. All right, have an awesome day. I'll be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it to grow your business right now? Take care.